Hey everyone, it's Spelt here, and uh, as you can probably see by my character selection screen, I've just hit level 60. So I thought I'd make a video to show you exactly what happens when you hit level 60, so you know what to look forward to. So let's go ahead and get into the game. Now, while I'm on the loading screen, I would just like to take a second to thank you all for helping me surpass 100 subscribers. It means a lot to us. I know that my videos are actually helpful and uh, people are enjoying them. So thanks very much for helping us pass that um, benchmark on my channel. Now, when I hit level 60 earlier, because I've done a couple of things, but I haven't done the quest. I got a quest to return to the Tamed Island, he said, to advance something, blah, blah, blah. And I've been told a couple of things of our people. But another thing I got was this here, Personal Communication Centre. I got the plan for it, and to be quite honest, it needs so much expensive things, like trimmed wood, pillar, processed wood, and plank metal accessories. These are all, like, really expensive. I mean, how are metal accessories are, like, 20,000 each and early. Uh, processed wooden plank, I can make myself, but they're 7,000. I'm not going to buy all these things, obviously. The trimmed wood pillar, I could probably buy them because they're not much. But I'll go ahead and buy them now when you're watching. Uh, three and four. I hope they were the right level. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put them on. But anyway, I thought I would return to the, the Tamed Island while I was doing a video. So I'm going to go ahead and click. It's not letting us click the information. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my Tamed Island and see what it does. So on my Tamed Island, I've got my pens, and I think that's about it, because I moved everything to my new domain when I made the new clan. Which, by the way, I'm still looking for uh, members, high level or low level. It makes no odds whatsoever. Um, I'm current. We're currently level five, I think. It's this this dual experience event has been bliss. Honestly, I've got no idea. Unless you're doing it, of course. Right, greetings, pioneer. God, it's just your old friend, Doctor Lamar, checking in. How have you been faring? Staying healthy, I hope. Continue to persevere, and I'm sure you'll triumph. After all, your body will continue to adapt. As I'm sure you've noticed, the environment here can be cruel beyond comprehend, comprehend, <laughs> comprehension. However, your body will develop a natural physical climate resistance as time goes on. Think of it as a fruit born from the tree of experience. If you venture into the frigid tundra, you'll be able to better endure the cold. And endure the desert, the heat will lose its grip on you. Every hostile environment will chip away at your weaknesses until only an hour of willpower remains, launching you towards success. After all, if there's any then humanity is capable of its adapting to even the harshest climates. Right now, what's it done to do? Character. Character. Check your physical climate resistance levels from the character menu. So, right, so currently, alright, okay. Yeah, because I've been questioned on a, a fine date you value customer. Have you arrived at your tamed island? Uh, I see the signal's quite rough. You have my apologies for that. As I mentioned before, I hope you'll get back to me once you've constructed a communication centre. Then we can truly begin to talk. Oh my god. Right. But anyway, I have I was questing on a level 60 desert island when I was hitting getting close to level 60, so that's probably why I've got 18%. Because I know you have to do the pioneer missions to um do it. Because if I quickly show you, I'll just where's my um I'll obviously return here in a second. But if I quickly show you, once you hit level 60 and you can go to level 60 islands, if I scroll along to a level 60 island, if it's gonna let us scroll, there we go. Um, I was currently questing on that one. Now look, if you see the pioneer mission on this right, then you've got like all of these two, and it says like you get obviously scorch and sun resistance more and more. So that's probably what that's for. So obviously, you can do it, all the different pioneer quests and get back, get your um, resistances up, which is canny. See if you're wearing uh, winter clothing and what have you. Right, build a, communi a personal communication centre. So it must be on here somewhere, unless it's a plan in my bag, which it's not. Tasks, no. Right. Ah, there it is, right, storage workbench. So I need processed wooden plank, Trim wood pillar, metal accessories, thick fabric. So I need basically the same thing that I needed for the other ones. I think that's actually what I'm making on the other island. So I'm going to have to... Oh, I've got no room. I'm going to have to... Um, 
I think I'm going to have to take all the materials from the last one and put onto this island instead. I don't even know if I've got room to put it anywhere, if I'm honest. I'll probably have to move some things around by the looks of it. So if I just... Uh, uh, let's have a look. What can I move? I'll move my box. Pack it up. Oh, for God's sake. Anyway, I'll get right on to making this. I mean, obviously you don't need to see us lay the plan down in my video. But I'll go ahead and quickly show you as well. I'll just gather them. 3,000. Is that all? I'll quickly show you when I go to harbour the Pioneer mission because I have actually completed the first set of them. And by the way, yeah, experience does stop. It can't go any higher. It stays at zero. You still get experience for quests. I don't know if that's a bug or what, but obviously it doesn't count for anything. You don't get extra, extra, um, blah, 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 blah. extra silver or anything like that for completing them. So if I just go ahead and go here, <clears throat> and then I'll need to travel to the next island and start doing. It. If you don't know what a pioneer mission is. Uh, once you hit level 45 islands, I think, the start, the, the, like, appear on the right-hand side. I'll quickly show you. If it wants to load. Right, so the Pioneer mission on the right-hand side here, you see, it says go to the next island. So I'll teleport. I'm not sure if I actually had the next island unlocked. I probably could have saved myself 502 silver there. And another loading screen. If you're not using this time during the double XP event to hit level 60, you need to wake up because, I mean, if you're level 10, 20, 30, you might not make it by the time two days come, but if you if you push it, I think quests are the easiest way to do it because that's all I was doing over and over. So I've got Right, blah, 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 right, blah, blah. So you now see on the right hand side I've got Boulder Gathering, Sand Lizard Hunting, and Level 40 Clothing Repair Kit Making, but I'm not going to make them because I don't want to. But, um, oh, another walk ball right next to that one, what's the point there? So it's still giving us experience on the left, and it's giving us physical resistance or whatever. It's a Boulder Gathering, there's got to be a Boulder around here, surely. What's that? Right, bag capacity, speed, no. Nah. I'll just feed them some of them. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get on with these Pioneer missions. So if you enjoy the video, please leave a like. And remember to subscribe as tomorrow night I'm going to start Savage Islands. And I'm going to be updating all of you with what's to come on them. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.